Okay, this is part two of uh, how to create your pop art portrait in Photoshop. Uh, part one explained how to do your contour line drawing, which should look something like this. And now I will explain how you can add color to make it look something like this. Okay, so what you should have so far is if you look over in your layers, you'll have a background layer your picture layer, and then finally your layer with the contour drawing on it. So what we want to do now is create a new layer in your new layers box over here. And on this layer, you we want to fill this layer with a white color to act as kind of a canvas to put your color on. So when you have your new layer created, you have to click this icon here. It looks like a circle here down in the bottom. So you it says create fill or adjustment layer. So click this layer and you want to choose solid color. And we're going to choose white. So I'm just going to select white and click OK. So now that we have our solid color on top there, we can start to color it on a new layer. So we're going to create a new layer again. And now we can start coloring. So in order to color, we're going to use our brush tool. So here's our brush tool. If I click on the brush tool and I look on the top of the screen, I can see that there is an option here that allows me to change the size of my brush tool. So right now, it's at 13. I can move it up and make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller depending on how big I want the details. Um, also, if you look below here, it says hardness. So I can actually choose a brush that's kind of fuzzy around the edges or I can choose a brush mark that has harder edges. So I'm going to move my brush up and make it kind of big because I want to fill in a big area. And then I'm going to choose a color. So I'm going to go down here and click in the black box to choose a color. And I'm just going to choose a green color for now. And then I'm going to start coloring in the shirt. So I'm going to use my brush tool and color that in. So the idea here is that it's neat and tidy and close to the edge and you don't go over the lines and it looks kind of seamless. So this brush that I have has kind of a soft edge. So I'm going to actually change the brush to a harder edge. So when I change my brush to a harder edge, I can get closer, closer to the line there without the colors bleeding through. And if I happen to make a mistake, I can always zoom in and I can go in with my eraser and I can begin to erase any mistakes that I made. Okay, so uh, if we look at our layers again, over here, what you'll have now is a background layer. You'll have a layer with a picture, with your picture on it, a fill color, color layer, a layer for your color, and a layer for your contour drawing. So when you finish your project, finish the coloring, it should look something like this one. So that's step two, color.